New Year's Eve resolutions. Got people all over. This is going to be their year. This is going to be the year they make those big changes. And a lot, most are going to fall short. Why is that? Well, first of all, they just simply don't change their habits. But how do you change? You have to change who you are. You have to change how you think. You don't just have to learn new stuff. You have to unlearn a lot of old stuff. Going into the Foreign Legion, that was something I knew had to happen. I had to unlearn a lot of the programming that I had been operating under. All I had to do was look at my track record and see all these problems, all this revolving self-sabotage, all this destruction that I left in the wake of me as I moved through my life, I realized that I had to unlearn some things. What I was doing was not working. So if you're going into this New Year's and you're watching this on New Year's Day, it's morning time on New Year's Day, Monday, January 1st, and you're hungover as shit. You're not starting the new year very good, right? Why do people do that? They start their year feeling like dog shit. And I did it too. I did it too. It's not the best way to start the year. So if you said this was going to be your year and you're starting it off like that, Okay, beat yourself up about it for 120 seconds, then get over it and move on and go, we're going to fix this from here on out. It's not cool anymore to be not locked on. The, the new wave, the new movement for men and women is to be locked the fuck on. That's what's cool now, is to be locked. Wired tight, dialed the fuck in, locked on. To be responsible, to be reliable. That was something I failed at in my life was being reliable. I wasn't reliable to myself. I wasn't reliable to my family. New Year's Eve resolutions. Resolute. Think about that word. Resolute. This is happening. No matter what, you're resolute about something. It is fixed, baby, fixed. Make it fixed. Make that change fixed. All it is is a decision. That's all it is to change your entire life. One second. And then it takes a lifetime to prove it. One moment to decide and a lifetime to prove. It's a gift to be able to prove it, man. Love the process. Fall in love with the process. That self-development process. Make that your resolution. Man, I'm going to fall in love with making myself better every single day. Everything else is going to fall into place in your life, I assure you. When you become better. Things aren't going to get better if you don't get better. They won't. They're not going to change if you don't change. So start right now. Day one. Everybody else says, you know, hey, New Year's Resolution. Guess what? That's today. You have this moment to decide what the rest of your life's going to look like. You never have to feel like that. How you're feeling right now. You never have to feel like this ever again. How powerful is that? How powerful is that to know that you have all the power in the world to never feel how you're feeling right now? Man, that's, that's amazing. So use it. Use that reality. Go, you know what? This is, this, is, this, is, this is the time. 
It's time. Later is now. There's no more after Christmas. There's no more, hey, I'm going to... It's now. There's not... It's full, clear runway ahead. 2024 is here. It's going to be a powerful year for some. It's going to be massive success, right? My New Year's resolution this year, massive success across the board. Physical, financial, emotional, spiritual. That's my, those are my pillars I'm focusing on. And all of them matter. They all matter. Take one out and you have a weak structure. Make yourself into the person you imagine being. As you would seem, be. Start to think very clearly about what your 10.0 self looks like. And then start being that person. It's not rocket science. You don't need to know how to split the atom to figure that out. How do you want to be? Fucking start right now. It starts with character. It starts with character. You got to start saying no to yourself. You have to start being hard on yourself. That's those change of behaviors. Those things that you would normally do, think about them. Give them that tactical pause. Is this benefiting me? If it isn't, don't do it. Simple. Keep shit simple. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what I got to tell myself. Because... My track record had proven I wasn't the brightest crayon in the box. And I don't pretend to be. I'm smart enough to know that I don't know shit. So I like to keep an open mind about what my weak points are. Love your enemies because they'll tell you what your flaws are. That's why I don't mind those negative comments and stuff because you know what? Maybe some of them are right. Don't take all of them to heart. There's some crazy ass weird motherfuckers out there. Don't be that guy either. Man, if you're one of those weird guys, man, change. You could change too. If you're watching this trying to hate me, bro, I don't hate you. Get better. Don't be negative. Be positive. Don't be that guy creeping around throwing. If, if your New Year's resolution, just don't throw shade on the internet. Start there. Your life's going to get better. I promise you. Put out that positive energy. You're going to get it back. You're going to start seeing more clearly. Be more happy. And the, and people who are already positive, but they're not experiencing the success they want, or it's not happening in the timeline that they want. Man, it's not your timeline. It's God's timeline. So what you can do in the meantime is be Doing all the things you're supposed to be doing. Cut away the negative stuff. Keep it simple. You don't want to be out doing crazy stuff. Don't do too much. Do less. Don't do more. Do less. Then we start to substitute in those better things. And that, it doesn't all need to happen at once. It's not all going to happen at once. Hit those base hits. Get those small wins. Stack them up. And make those smart decisions. That's all you need to do. Think. Be smart. 2024 is here. Out here.